today is all about the favorites. I do have one product regret that I think I'm going to share with you, but today it's mostly skincare and hair care and things like that. I don't think I have any makeup uh, for this video, but if you're still interested, let's just go ahead and get to it. All right, so I'm not sure if you all can see it or not, but I do have a scar right here. I chipped my nails one night and I scratched my face in my sleep and it left a really, it was kind of deep, a, a deep scar. And typically those type of scars take, you know, six or seven months to even begin to fade. So I have three products that I have been using to address the issue of the scar. And I feel like I've been seeing some progress. Two of the products I have previously spoken about because it does have an ingredient that I don't like and that would be fragrance. But I decided to go ahead and try them just to kind of see what it would actually do to the scar. But the first one that I want to talk about is, let me put my glasses on. This is a cream by Fresh. This is their Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. And this is an anti-wrinkle firm radiance uh, type of cream is supposed to help with those areas. This is the little container that it comes in. As you can see, I have like just about finished all of it. When I was using this, I did alternate nights with this because this is a rather thick cream. I don't necessarily know that I noticed anything from the firmness, uh, but as far as the fading, uh, helping to fade the scar on my nose, I have to uh, contribute it to, the, to this along with um, one other product that I've been using, but this is kind of pricey, but I do think that it's worth it for if you're trying to fade any type of dark spots. And always remember guys, anything like that is going to take some time. Another cream that I've been using is the Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution. This is a Hydro Plump Water Cream. And what I made sure of was that I kept my skin very, very hydrated. So I kind of did a little bit of an overkill each time that I used this. Now what I didn't like about this before is that it has fragrance. I thought about taking it back, but I was like, let me just see. Let me just roll the dice and see if I'm going to break out or anything. But I didn't have any negative effect. And this in combination with this spring, by using this, I have uh, really made a difference in that scar. You probably can see it. It's like right there. I have on makeup, actually full coverage makeup. And as you all know, sometimes full coverage it, it, it can't even <laughs> it won't even cover some of these scars um, the last one that I want to talk about is a moisturizer by milk and this is it and I've talked about this before only because um, what I didn't like about this one initially when I talked about it before was that it's really thick so what I did was I used it on the body and it does wonders for the body and what I did was I just kind of brought it down on my chest and my shoulders and it has worked marvelous marvelously <laughs> and as you can see it this is pretty much gone as well now I do have a regret in the bunch and this is the Vaseline intensive care cocoa glow Vaseline jelly and this is it so I was expecting this when it said Vaseline jelly I was expecting a different consistency but it's actually just a cream so let me just show you. It's a cream like this, right there. So what my issue was with this is that as soon as you put it on, you don't even feel it anymore. You can't, it dries out your skin. It's as though you didn't put anything on. So this, um, I got this from the grocery store and this was kind of for a grocery store product. I think this was more than 10 bucks. So I was severely disappointed with that. I don't know how, else I'm going to try to use this but I'll figure out something along the way and whatever I figure out if it works I'll come back and tell you but for right now that was a total bust so next I want to move into hair products and I have some inner sense products and I've talked about their um, I think it was their shampoo before but now I have their let me put my glasses on so I can see so now I have their Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. This is it. And this is a lightweight detangling spray to replenish 
moisture. I also have their hydrating cream bath and this is a luxurious hydrating shampoo for thick, coarse, and thirsty hair. This is it right here. And I also have the hydrating mask and this is a hair mask to repair and revitalize dry, coarse, damaged hair. So what I like about these or this brand is that they have like specific, um, their products are related to the type of hair that you have. So I have thick, coarse, dry hair and these work marvelously together. Now I do have to say that as far as um, like detangling and things like that, when you get ready to wash, if you wear twist in your hair or anything like that, make sure you detangle your hair before you wash your hair and of course wash it in sections. This detangler, what I'll do, of course I have on a wig now, but you all have seen me with twist or a bun, but what I'll do is I will spray my hair with this probably once or twice a week. And that always works in helping keep my hair soft and moisturized. This mask works really good and it's not the type of mask that you, you have to leave on for 30 minutes to an hour. You can leave it on five or 10 minutes and it can really do wonders with your hair. These products are really pricey. I think that each one was like $28 or $29. So um, that that kind of that kind of hurt my pocket a little bit but at least you know my hair likes it and it works beautifully with it um i think i told you all before that my daughter introduced me to this line so i just thought i would go ahead and pick up the other items that they have and works great i have another skincare product that i forgot to you know add on to the others and this is the inky list fulvic acid brightening cleanser this is it right here. So I paired this cleanser along with the moisturizer. And again, guys, make sure you are consistent. Make sure you have an AM and a PM routine. Of course, you know, make sure your diet and you drink a lot of water. You know, there's a lot of things that go with that. But as far as the skincare, make sure you're consistent. So this one uh, is really good. It's not anything that dries out your... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's not anything that dries out your skin, so you don't have to worry about that. But those um, two paired together with this cleanser work really well, especially if you are trying to, you know, fade any uh, scars on your face or dark spots on your face. That works really great. And it's not anything that's going to lighten your skin. It's just going to softly, gradually fade it away. And now I have like a shaper that I wanted to show you all. This is by Made Foreman. Okay. And I like this because this is the one with the straps where your, your, your uh, bra is out. Okay. And it's got the snap at the bottom, which I really can appreciate. Um, this right here, I like the, um, the way the bottom is made so it's not anything that's gonna cut up your your bottom it's gonna stay in place down below I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but if you're like me and you you know you're in the, the bigger girl section or, or part you will love this like if you want to you know put on one of those shirts that kind of smooth you out this one does a really good job of that even the back part of it I just love it it's really great and then the last thing that I have and this is wrinkle <laughs> okay because I thought I washed it for the video but I didn't but this is a pencil skirt everybody needs a pencil skirt right and I got this from Kohl's and the reason that I like this is because you know I have cellulite really bad on my legs and if I don't wear a girdle plus tights you know things can get a little bit you know uh, interesting but this right here because the material is so thick it's very forgiving okay and it looks really good all right so it's a classic pencil skirt and the the material is like a thick I don't want to say t-shirty type of thing but it's very thick and it has a little bit of a band and you get a little split right there very very pretty very becoming um, and I think that it will really look good, of course, on smaller ladies, but even if you're skirting into the realm of my size, it will look good on you too. Now, I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Those are all of my 
um, product favorites. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these uh, items. If you have and you like them, let me know. If you have and you hate them, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. Oh. <sighs>